Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Loop with Jack. Today we're going to be taking a look at Threshold Recording, a setting inside Loopy Pro, which is pretty neat. I'm going to give you a template, which you can download and try this out for yourself. And I'm also going to give you a demonstration and talk you through the different settings you need to set this up. So let's get into it. So let's take a look at what Threshold Recording can do. If I press the starter loop, that clip is now armed and it's waiting for the threshold to be reached before it starts recording. As soon as that happens, it's going to start recording and then when I finish, it's going to adjust the tempo of my entire project and then I can start layering up from there. So let's have a go. Two, three, four. So I've armed the next clip for some chords. Here we go. The bass is armed and waiting. One, two, three, four. You get the idea. Now before we get started on screen you'll see a template that I have set up just to demonstrate how threshold recording works. The idea is that you'll download this template, have a little play around, check out some of my settings, copy some of them from the video and then you'll get a good understanding what this feature does and then you can decide if you want to apply it to your own templates. Okay, so let's jump in and take a quick look at the template I have built to demonstrate threshold recording. You can see we've got five clips across the front here. I have loaded in a drum sample on the first loop. And I wanted to demonstrate the fact that you can have drum loops or other loops already in the project. And then once you set the tempo based on your first loop, it will adjust everything in the project. Uh, you should have seen that in the demo earlier, but I'll also go into a bit more detail now. So just make sure that when you import your clip, so let's say I imported this clip here, nice drum loop that I've got here from Mix, you can see that time stretch is on and you want that on because once you start to set the tempo inside the template, you're gonna want it to adjust and time stretch to fit the rest of the clips. Now, if you do download this template, I've created a little tour which takes you through the different functions and features that I've changed in the template to make threshold recording work. So you can click on the information on loop length, for example, and it will give you a little description about how the loop length is configured inside this session and what settings I have changed. You can then go through the different steps and it gives you that information, but I'm going to demonstrate that here now anyway. So let's close the tour. 
So what is threshold recording? Well, basically, it just means that the clips are going to start recording automatically when the threshold is reached, meaning when enough input from your guitar or whatever instrument you're using is being sent into that clip it will start recording and it's really useful because it means you can kind of be hands free. You don't necessarily need foot controls or MIDI controllers, although they are nice to have. So let's have a little look at how I've configured this to make it work. If you go up into the settings, clip settings, you want to scroll down until you see this audio threshold section. So if I got my guitar out right for a moment, you want to set it to a point where it's only going to be active when you actually play a note. For example, if I play a note now, you can see it goes over where I've got that threshold slider. Another setting that you need to have is loop threshold recording. Just above that here, you can see that that is enabled. With those two settings, loop threshold recording is active. Now, if I press this starter loop here, it's going to wait until the threshold is reached on my guitar before it starts to record. So if I start to play now, it should start to record. Like so. Now after you've recorded that clip, it changes the tempo of the entire session. So if we click up here now, it's detected that it is 86 BPM. Now if for any reason that didn't quite work out for you, there's this little icon on the top left hand side of the first clip. If I press that, I've got the option to fine tune. I can drag and crop my loop. I could also double or divide the tempo in case it accidentally detected it as double time or half time. Now what's really cool about this is any of the other clips in the session I can simply tap and then they're going to wait for the threshold to be reached before they start recording as well. So let's try and bring in some chords as well. I'll tap the green clip. It's now waiting for the threshold. And I'll bring in some chords when I'm ready. Here we go. Inside this template, I'm using count out quantization set to one bar. So whenever I'm recording, when I tap the clip again, it's going to count me out to the next closest bar. Now, just for demonstration purposes, inside this template, I have set up four different radio buttons that select four different presets from Tone Stack Pro. Now you'll see this big red button here in the middle. This is to reset the clock. So that will get rid of any tempo that has already been set if you've been doing this a couple of times or you're starting a new song. So then whenever you record the first loop again, it will set to whatever tempo you've been playing at. To get access to this template, please check the links down in the description below. So that's it from me today, guys. Hopefully that gives you a better understanding as to what threshold recording is in Loopy Pro and how you can use it. Please hit that like button. It really does help me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.